Greetings, 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 Tauros. We are almost about to pass the torch. 420 in the house, April the 20th, baby cusp in the house. Getting ready to pass this torch to Gemini, house of communication. Taurus is the house of money. But money is all year long, baby. All year long. We're getting ready to see what is in, what is the energy around Taurus that Taurus didn't know coming in for the 16th through the 31st. Uh, what is the highest and best energy for Taurus? Ooh, we for ooh, hold on, that's too many. For Taurus. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. I'm going to put that back because I had crossed over that one. So they said put that one back how it did. I'm going to show y'all how it, how it came down just like that. Crossed over it. So I'm going to have to put that back right there. That wasn't the spread I was intending to do, however. Okay, Taurus. We are getting ready to do... Okay, mm -mm -mm. the significant is the seven of wands. You are the two of wands. You have a decision to make, of course. Let me move this away. Uh, thank you, Spirit Source Energy. What's going on with Taurus for their highest good? What do Taurus need to know? That was getting ready to pop. I'll put that one right there for number three. What's crossing you? Spirit source energy. What does Taurus? Well, there we go. There we go. That one down there. I don't know how I'm going to do this on this short desk. Spirit source energy. What does Taurus need to know? Spirit source energy. For their highest good. What does Taurus need to know? 16th through the 31st. Spirit source energy. What does Taurus need to know? The source needs to know spirit source energy. Spirit, spirit source energy. What does Taurus need to know? Spirit source energy. What does Taurus need to know? Happy birthday, Taurus. Spirit source energy. Four more cards, please. Spirit source energy. Four more. Well, that was a jumper. Spirit source energy. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Too many. They trying to slide out my hand. Spirit source energy. What does Taurus? There we go. Taurus need to know. Spirit source energy. What does Taurus need to know? Spirit source energy. Spirit source energy. Taurus. What is for Taurus? There we go. Highest good. Okay. Okay. Well, that stayed there. Let me leave that there. It crossed over to star card. Let me get one more spirit source energy. One more card. Spirit source energy. One more card for Taurus. Spirit source energy. One more card. Spirit source energy for Taurus. Okay, that's that one. Now, under all card, overall card, ooh, three of cups. Alrighty, let's move these over here somewhere, okay? I'm going to try to do this in order because I got cards everywhere. It's going to be hard to see here. Let me slide these over. Celtic cross here. Okay, and we're going to see, and whatever we need to clarify, clarify, we will. Okay, okay, I'm going to squinch those in so I could just get them on the desk. Overall energy. I mean, that's the underall, but I'm just trying to set, if I can set it up, if it stays, it don't want to stay. Okay, we're going to leave it right there. Cards don't want to sit up today. Okay. 
people, Taurus, what's in there for your highest good? You have the three of cups here coming in with the three of cups, meaning a lot of friendship uh, celebrating going on. There will be celebrations going on your overall energy. Your under all energy is the chariot moving forward, charging. Uh, this is Oya, Arisha Oya, the tornado. Uh, so you can see the tornado right there. This is Oya charging in, you know, moving forward, pressing forward with whatever you have going on. This is your under all energy, Taurus. You are moving forward, okay? Fast, speed ahead. You know, and, and with that blade, baby, you cutting down anything that ain't right in the way, baby. You are cutting down. You come in with the truth. Okay? So, now, the significant energy, let me get this under the bottom here. Okay. The significant energy is the Seven of Wands here. With the Seven of Wands, you have... Uh, you know, you're uh, fighting for what you want, protecting something. You're, you're guarding something from this boogeyman. <laughs> you're like, nah, 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 nah. You ain't finna get over here and get my wands, baby. So you're guarding something, okay? You're, you're paying attention, but you're guarding something that's very uh, uh, important to you or you're blocking or pushing back you know, something that, you know, needs to be some, you know, some creativity you're not letting come out or you're like pushing away communication, okay, with something or someone, okay. What's crossing you or what, this is you, but you crossed over that card that the seven of wands actually is a the choice or a decision that you have to make. This is about balance. You're gonna to have to pick a path. You're, you're a little guarded. Uh, I mean, the swords, this is the two of swords. You're a little guarded, uh, indecisive. Um, you're gonna, you're, you're balanced though. There's balance in this decision. So it's not like you're gonna make the wrong decision. You're gonna make the right decision because of the two of swords is balanced, okay? The communication that's going forth when you get ready to make this situation you know is going to be a balanced situation so there will be communication on both sides taurus there will be communication on both sides now the crossing you is the four of wands the four of wands is harmony and peace in the home that's what's crossing you right now taurus you want harmony and peace in the home. You want balance in the home, in the community. There again will be celebration, right? So you're you're looking forward to you know making a decision so you could have balance, peace, and harmony in the home. Okay. Uh, now the foundation is, and this one was crossed by this one. So we'll do the foundation first is the star card and, and with the star card you're you, I mean it's about balance you're keeping the balance you know you're getting the wish fulfillment that you need you have the storms over here and you have it clear over here with the stars so your storm is passing so with uh, Taurus you this is your Aquarius Gemini Libra energy as well you got good health um, you're doing things, you know, the, the universe is getting ready to forgive you a whole lot of abundance. You're, you made it through the storm. So your storm is past, you know, you're getting ready to see the clouds and the, and the sun and the stars, you know, brightly because, you know, the clouds are like moving away from you, you know? So, and then what's crossing and this is Chango. This is, uh, number eight number eight is the strength card the ego so because uh oh damn it this card dropped on the floor not we is not gonna be doing this today ancestors with these cards lord my stomach muscles okay so what's crossing you is the the ego because this card fell across the the star card and you have two major arcades here working in your favor uh, so you have a balance of ego now, and because of that, 
you're able to get this balance in the universe as well as with the ego. So don't let the ego get in your way. So that's just so you can take note because you're moving forward with the underall energy with the chariot card. So Taurus, whatever you do, don't let the ego get in the way. You've got the balance that you need now over the ego. Okay, this is uh, Chango. This is the sun card. You know, the sun is shining now. So that's going to be your balance from this storm as well. Is this storm passing? You're going to be seeing the sun. You know, uh, like if this was the night and it was a night storm and it's been a long storm, a long uh, period of storms. And now what's in front of you is the the sunshine, is the balance in your life, in the ego, okay? In, you know, not letting the ego, you know, keep you in darkness. Now you're like, okay, out of the way. I got control of this now. I know what to do, okay? You know how to do it. You know what to do now, Taurus. So you're going to be doing just that. Okay, now uh, the past is... The Fool card, going into that new beginning, uh, uh, taking that leap of faith and carrying that light load, you know, just happy-go-lucky, you know, gazero. You've completed something as well uh, with the Fool card, you know, you've completed what you needed to complete and now you're off to a new beginning, uh, Taurus, and that is your past card. So you've already done this. This is not like something that is is coming like next week this is past you've already completed what you needed to complete you've done the things you were supposed to do and now you're getting this new beginning so in your present in your present uh taurus is the 10 and the 10 is the will of fortune so you've completed all that you needed to complete and now your destiny and fate is ahead of you. Now you're getting to what you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime. So you have brought in your destiny. You are right in line with your destiny and your uh, fate. And the will of fortune is about changes and opportunities and winning, right? A, a chance for balance in your life and uh, sunshine, just like the strength card came out with the sun right there leo so that's another leo energy right there where the will of fortune is an aries leo sagittarius energy as well your fool card is a libra aquarius gemini okay so now that you got the will of fortune going and you got that fate you know going for you everything should you know you're moving forward so now your future and your future is the the uh the night of swords someone is coming in you know this night this night is coming in determined and wants you know racing toward you to communicate with you so in your future you have a person you're going to be meeting or you've already met you know that's part of your destiny that's coming you know in to meet you and to speak with you and to communicate with you and take action so this this night of swords is very very uh skillful very very adapt very trained okay this sword knows what this sword has to this knight of this king this knight of sword knows what it has to do knows the action it has to take knows what it has to say right so it's very positive and coming in in respects to showing you how you know how much this knight cares about you or what it what he or she thinks about you right uh, Taurus. Okay. Now, 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 yourself. This is you, Taurus, the Six of Cups. You're generous. You're abundant and you're prosperous and you're, and you, you know, you're thinking of the abundance of this reunion or happy family or this, this marriage or this village, right? Of this home, this, uh, home life or this family right so this is your you know soul family or your soul mate uh connection to this uh to yourself so you know this family in another life there's a hand extending a cup 
So these they have cups on the ground, but there's universal cups being handed to all these women in the village, right? So this is a soul family, soul connection, uh, and you have to trust that connection as well. But this is also a, a, about reunions, about uh, happy memories, okay, with with your person or with this person uh, that's coming in to your future, this, this Knight of Swords. So there's a connection to this Knight of Swords, basically is what it's saying. Six of Swords. And with the Six of Swords, there is uh, travel. There's, you know, you're moving by, you're moving away, you're you're blocking out something, but you're actually moving. You've trapped whatever you need to trap. You're leaving it behind. You're relocating. So this 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 uh, man is on his journey, is on his path, right? Because the grass is right here. So he's already on his path, headed that way. So you're traveling. You're moving in the right direction uh, for uh, you know yourself. You're taking control of you know of the environment of which you you're in. You know, you're being careful, you're being uh, protected even, okay? So this is, you know, travel, like you're going to be moving ahead. He's moving ahead, he's looking ahead. Now, your, your hopes and dreams are the sun, that the sun will come out. And this is the sun card. So this is the most powerful card in the deck, okay? This is the sun card if I'm not mistaken this is the sun card because it's about balance and it's about the sun and about playing and happiness and vitality so this is about uh, youthfulness uh, abundance joy playfulness um, happiness you know this is the universe working things out for you so your hopes and fears is that okay you hoping the sun come out and you hope it never leaves the fear would be it's it goes back away right that if it comes out you want it to stay out so with your hopes and fears you know you got to get the balance between you know thinking positive thinking positive and staying positive this is about success and the universe bringing things together and working things out for you. Uh, and the sun, once the sun comes up, the sun is up. Okay. So there's no need to fear anything. Taurus is out there. The sun is going to come up. I don't know why they picked this for y'all. <laughs> this is a long one. I wouldn't expect this one to be this long, but hey. And this is you working toward the, the outcome of that sun. You're working on your craft with this eight of pentacle you're work hard at work on building your finances up your material stability and assets your foundation right your liberation uh to uh any money issues where you had this hope and fear uh set in it that you don't you wouldn't have enough finances oh well you're going to have an abundance of finances with this sun card here so that's nothing to worry about you're just you need to focus on continuing to work on achieving what you need to achieve for yourself so you can have that financial stability with these eight of pentacles. And the number eight represents the, the currency cycle, the money cycle, right? The infinity, the currency uh, of money. So you're gonna have plenty of money. You don't have that to worry about. Everything is going to be okay for you, okay? Taurus, that's a good reading. You have financial stability coming. You literally have financial stability coming. You're like on track with your destiny, with your paths, you know, with what you're supposed to be doing. Now, however, this may not resonate with every Taurus out there if they're not on their path. You know, this is talking about the Tauruses that are on their path and they're, you know, working on financial stability and, you know, building assets and, uh, um, working on stabilizing their family and and their financial assets you know building creating jobs or buying uh land or things of that nature and then wanting this happy home that they're they're wanting with this uh 
what is that? The four of wands, spirit source energy. So let's see what's going on with the four of wands with the balance. Spirit source energy with the balance of the four of wands. Clarify the four of wands. Yeah, the queen of wands. See, the queen of wands is you like being in your in your power, sitting in your power, you know, very passionate, socializing, you know, getting out there, you know, from out of the house. You got to balance the home and the, and the community and the work life. So you're going to be getting out more uh, with this four of wands energy, this queen of wands energy. And you're going to be like feeling all the love and all the, the feminine power and stuff that you have. Spirit source energy, clarify. Uh, the fool. Let's see what the fool card is about. Spirit source energy. What is the fool card about? The fool card. Spirit source energy. What is it? Yeah. Oh, a heart to heart, baby. And it's crossed over the queen of wands. So over the, the new beginning is about a heart to heart. So this is a heart to heart with your person uh, even. So you're going to be having a heart to heart talk, which that crossed over the queen. So your person is coming to talk to you, you know, uh, passionately at that, you know, or you're wanting to talk to your person passionately, you know, whoever that person is, uh, to you, Taurus. Spirit Source Energy, clarify the the Knight of Swords. Who is this Knight of Swords, Spirit Source Energy? Who is this? What is the connection, Spirit Source Energy, to the Knight of Swords? Whew, what is this going on? Oh, there's that third, see, there's that celebration again. That night of swords, y'all going to be celebrating. That night of swords, y'all going to be celebrating. Y'all going to be celebrating. And in this night, of, the swords is like, I'm not happy with the offer, but, you know, why do I have to take this one? You know, there's a world card again. Or, or well, I thought it was the destiny, but it's the world card. Spirit source energy. Uh, what is it there to come? You're going to be celebrating. But somebody is definitely not happy. <laughs> Somebody's contemplating if they want to take this cup. Like, do I want this? Is this the right cup for me? Is this what I'm in? I'm not interested in celebrating. You know, you're, you're, you know, you get the celebration part, but you're not really interested in celebrating part, you know? So what's going on with the four of cups, spirit source energy? What is the four of cups about? Okay, let's see what the four of cups about. Ah, the Knight of Wands coming in, baby. The Knight of Wands is racing in there, charging at you to express their passionate love and creativity with you, those ideas. And this is like the magician, very skilled. He's very or she's very skilled, mind control, have the balance, and is full of opportunities, you know, for it, for success. There's that happy home, Ten of Cups. Okay. Let's go down here and clarify a little bit this star card with this uh, strength card, spirit source energy. What is the star card and the strength card about? Clarify, please. Clarify the sun card and the strength card. You're going to be moving away. That's what that's about. You're going to you're going to get the strength to move away. Oh, there's the sun card again. Wow. You're going to get the strength to move away. You, you know, the clouds are going to be over, the sun's going to come out, and you're going to jet. <laughs> you're going to get the heck up out of Dodge, baby. Taurus, you are relocating. Some of you are already relocated for that sun, you know, to that better, you know, sunshine in your life. Some of it could be just you stabilizing your home. Some of it could be financial business moves, you know, making investments in yourself and and, and, you know, building the pinnacles and anything that brightens your your life better, Taurus is going to be moving toward that. You know, that's what Taurus is going to be moving toward. Uh, the Fool card, Spirit Source Energy. What about the Fool card, Spirit Source Energy? Dang, not that. That's too many. Not that. Too many. Too many. Too many. Well, that new beginning, this fell on the floor just now, but we're going to clarify. Spirit Source Energy, about the food card? Spirit Source Energy, what about the food card? What's the new beginning about Spirit Source Energy? Oh, good Lord. They dropping these cards out of here. Okay. The food card is about a new beginning. It's about a offer, <laughs> a page of uh, a new opportunity but the chariot is like it's unbalanced so the fool the new beginning gonna be unbalanced a little bit the energy is gonna be a little slow you know 
you're going to be busy, not really resting, right? But you're going to be busy. But the beginning is facing this heart to heart, okay? So this fool card is going to be a little slow. The chariot's going to be slow. Now, it ain't going to rush in there, you know, uh, don't doubt, don't get trapped up in a little doubt because it starts off slow or there's not a lot of energy or direction toward it. Uh, this is slow moving energy versus fast. So it's going to take a minute, okay, for some of you Tauruses to get in gear, but you still have the, the chariot right here that's the under all energy, but the relationship part of this two of cups is going to be slow is what it's saying okay the relationship part of it is it got it was slow at first getting started you lost you know you wasn't getting a lot of rest there was a lot of worry a lot of thinking you know about it and now the the offer even that came in opportunities and the dreams you know is like well dang this was kind of slow coming right because that's what you're thinking it was in the past it was slow, but the heart to heart is coming now, you know, with you and your person. Spirit source energy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Clarify the six of cups and the six of swords. Spirit source energy. What is the six of cups and the six of swords about? What's the six of cups and the spirit source energy? This is about you, Torn. Spirit source energy. The hair fan. And look at you showing up for yourself. This is about marriage. The, the reunion, the Six of Cups is a soulmate connection. And the Six of Swords is about you moving on and relocating uh, with this soulmate. So, and possibly a marriage forming out of that. Okay. That's you yourself in the yourself uh, position here, Taurus, is marriage, uh, ethic, ethics, being a mentor type, you know, getting that structure, you know, back in in your life and and around you and adding that you know giving that to people that is the hierophant card okay this what is this this is the sun card so spirits we already know what the sun is and we already know what fixing on pinnacles is and building uh you're building toward so yeah this is good towards you're going to be you're, you're going to be connecting with your with your soulmate some of you Tauruses out there are getting ready to connect with your soulmate. Spirit Source Energy, any other advice for Taurus? Spirit Source Energy, yep. Woo, there's the sun. Wow. Look at there. The Page of Swords is, you know, your person is coming in there or you're coming in there wanting a deep level communication, you know, with your person. There's two suns on the card. So this is emphasizing this reading that you will have tremendous amount of abundance. Uh, coming your way because we have two sun cards coming up. We have two repeat cards y'all uh, This is a hermit mode. You're going to be going in reflecting, you know, deep searching yourself uh, Just getting back in balance and alignment and here you go sneaky peeky, right? The seven of swords Somebody think they being deceptive and that's my slickery card, right? Somebody's being slick, you know, trying to snoop around and find out What's going on with you, Taurus? There's your soulmate right there, connection card again. Uh, so somebody around you is trying to be sneaky and find out uh, uh, what's going on with you, of course. Uh, so they're not getting away with anything, being slick, the slickery card, you know, the deception, the stealing, the lying, the betrayal, the trickery and all that. You know, uh, you're not even worried about that. Um, your part is that you're you're getting the blessings of the universe because of the star card, the wish fulfillment down here and the, the charging forward and moving forward as planned like you're supposed to do. You know, you were doing what you were supposed to do. And though it was stormy getting, getting there and it was rough getting to that smooth, you know, point in your life, you're going to move forward because of that with double sun. So you're going to have double uh, abundance you know, if not greater, right? Spirit source energy, what is the seven of swords about? Ooh, wow. Popping cards like it. See there, they think they got the victory. People plotting and, and but you've won. Actually, 
<laughs> oh lord this is like you know like i said slickery uh cheating lying being slick then you've defeated you know your enemies you got the victory over them with the five of wands and left them scattered brains and you know feeling defeated and lost because they couldn't stop the sun from coming out in your life they couldn't stop that that wish fulfillment uh right here the star card they couldn't stop it so they're feeling defeated and they're angry now <laughs> they're angry and because the moon is like the reflection is back on them now like you know they're all sad that you know you 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 got to move on and and they're stuck where they're at and that's what you did you cut it off you're like bye no more communication and and now they're mad because of that okay because you you've had to cut some people off in in that process in that journey uh of moving forward and that's why you were able to move forward with the chariot card underneath you know spirit source energy Ooh, look at there happy marriage old couple six of cups that is reunion long-term soulmates baby it's already out here though on the other one all right anything else for taurus Ooh, -hoo. let's see what's any advice for taurus spirit source energy any advice for taurus spirit source energy let's do our native totems animal totems what's the advice for taurus do an oracle card Oracle card, Oracle card for Taurus. Spirit Source Energy, what's the advice for Taurus? Spirit Source Energy, what's the advice for Taurus? One card. Spirit Source Energy, what's the advice for Taurus? Spirit Source Energy, what's the advice for Taurus? Source energy. Let's see. There we go. The advice for Taurus is peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Don't feel you have to always be right. Never, you know, like you got to explain anything to anybody. Just keep the peace and keep it moving. You know, don't feel that, you know, you got to explain or define anything or verify anything that, you know, someone says. You just keep on moving you got the buff i think that's the buffalo so you might want to look that up and see what you know that means so peacekeeper let go of the need to be right okay so that is your reading uh tauruses uh like and subscribe leave a comment down below and let me know if that resonate with you guys and where you're headed what direction that you're headed in you know and don't forget to tag a friend uh, as well. And you know what your girl always say. Peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. So peace, love, and harmony.